Hi folks, so uh, welcome back. I'm just gonna do a, a quick off the cuff episode um, just to answer some more of the questions that you guys have been asking me over the last few weeks. Um, I've been busy getting ready for my new percussive guitar album. It's been a lot of practicing, a lot of setup in the studio, a lot of um, just general you know, prep to do an album. I'm trying to record this album like they did in the old days, like we would have done back in the day of Big Picture, just uh, onto tape, onto analog tape, and I'm trying to do it with hardly any edits. I really want the performance to be real. I want it to, to be uh, non-edited. I find that there's a lot of uh, music these days that are that's really perfect, and uh, sometimes um, that's amazing. That uh, and you know it's it's incredible to see. But uh, there's just something uh, that I want to do that I've always wanted to do, and uh, and just record it really live. So it's been a lot of practice, a lot of um, trying to get through the songs without making mistakes. So it's been challenging and taking up a lot of my time. So I apologize for not. Uh, doing as much content as normal. But um, once I get the songs down, then I'm gonna be showing people uh, the performances and breaking some of the music down and um, I'm reviving some of the old songs as well. And I'll be doing a lot more episodes concerning that, plus the other um, film scoring related and um, and other music related content. So stay tuned for all of that. So um, a lot of the uh, questions that have been coming up um, were questions about big picture and how did we get started and of course there's just there's so much so much to say about that um big picture was formed in high school i was in high school um and a friend of mine uh angus given his name is a drummer um i've been in bands uh here and there throughout my junior high and high school and then um Angus had, uh, had had heard I was I was in a band and uh, I, we needed a drummer, so we got to talking. We had similar musical interests and 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 we started playing in grade twelve, and that's when we met Benny Benny Fong, um, who is the lead singer in Big Picture. And so um, he uh, we needed a singer who could sing really high because uh, my my range sort of tops out at about G or G sharp, and uh, a lot of the music that I loved were singers who sang sang really high, like Sting and uh, you know Peter Gabriel, Bono from from U2, and Benny had this really great charisma, and he wasn't really even uh, a, a singer as, as such, but he auditioned and he sort of blew us all out, uh, blew our socks off, and um, and he became part of the band. We entered a, a contest together. Uh, it was a battle of the bands in high school, and it was a citywide uh, contest where all uh, bands were chosen from each high school to compete at this arena just across the harbor um, in Halifax. And um, it was judged by local celebrities and uh, experts from the field, journalists, you know, people in the industry. And um, there were several bands, I think there was about 12 of them, and, um, and us. And so we uh, ended up deciding to do an original song. And um, it was around that time that Benny had come up with the name Big Picture. Um, and his uh, inspiration from that is we were talking on the phone and he was looking up at a big poster of, of Rattle and Hum, the U2 album that had come out at the time. And um, in probably, I would say, 1990 or so, and uh, it was a it was a big picture on his wall, a big poster, and he said, "Oh wow, that's a big picture." And then he came up with the name. So um, yeah, it was it was when we had won that contest, we won the citywide talent contest, and that's when we kind of had the stars in our eyes going, "Wow, maybe this is something we're under something." And um, and we uh, then all sort of scattered after high school. And uh, I took a year off because I wanted to learn how to, uh, to audition for Dalhousie University, which was the, uh, the, the main university here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And I wanted to take uh, music. And I had no training at all, no, no formal um, theory training. So I had to take a year off and take some lessons and do some books and really dive into figuring out how to audition. In fact, a lot of teachers that I knew who were in music told me I had no chance at all. Um, but I really kind of dove right into it, tried to learn as much as I could, ended up auditioning and getting into Dalhousie and getting a scholarship actually uh, to do classical guitar there. So um, 
That was my journey after high school, and during that time, I had met someone、um, by the name of Julian Marentet, and he was a、uh, he was always in the percussion program at the and in the Halifax music department. And Angus had gone off to to study、um, at a different university, so we didn't have a drummer. So I started jamming with Julian. I bring my guitar over to an an old garage of his.、Uh, Old girlfriend's place, way out in the country, and we started jamming police tunes, and、um, and you know we we kind of really connected over the music, and and of course Benny was there、um, in the sidelines waiting to figure out whether we still had a band or not, and there was a, another couple of people we had met.、Um, Benny had known Chris Church. Uh, he was、uh, a friend of his from high school, and、um, we kind of all came together at the end of that. And during my first year, we sort of started to、uh, to put the band together.、Um, and during the second year of university, it was when the band was really starting to get going. And Julian had had really taken it upon himself to try and get us some sort of situation where we could record. And so he was approaching a fellow by the name of Glenn Meisner at CBC, Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, which was the、uh, the main、um, uh, sort of the the NPR of of Canada, I guess,、uh, like the BBC in England, sort of the government uh, funded um, arts radio and news and all of that. And so they had a studio, a beautiful, amazing、um, studio. Atop their building、um, in in the center of town, and Julian would go and hound Glenn,、uh, ask for meetings, and and plead with him to record us. And and finally, there was a、um, a compilation album that was coming out、um, that was put on by a local、uh, newspaper here, and Glenn had heard the track "Walking to Nowhere," and. And then he said, "Okay, well, let's、uh, let's 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 take a listen to your demos." And so Glenn took us under his wing, and there was a CBC show called "Up on the Roof." You can find that on Benny Fong's channel. And、um, at the time, we had also met、uh, a fellow by the name of Joel Allen,、um, who was a drummer that、uh, and a percussionist that joined the band. And the original bassist from Big Picture, John Church, who was Chris Church's brother. Uh, ended up going.、Um, I, I believe he went to、uh, school here in Halifax at NASCAD, which is the Arts University. And John had sort of moved on from the band. And I asked my brother Shahab whether he would play bass, and he was, of course, too young、um, to play any bars. In fact, the first few gigs we did, my brother Shahab would have to sit in the dressing room with an extra long guitar cable、um, and a monitor in the dressing room and play the. Play the whole show on the bass from the dressing room while we were on stage because we were all over 19, which is the drinking age here in Canada, and he was under 19. And、um, so, yeah, it was a it was a pretty interesting start. We did the show up on the roof, and then a、uh, a local record label caught wind of the band and、um, and shopped the, our music. To a uh, Toronto uh, to Warner,、uh, and so the local record company had gotten signed to Warner, and through them we got the deal, and that's how we ended up recording "Just Passing By," and、um, then going on tour. I quit Dal、uh, my, through my second year, and then went on to、uh, to touring and making the albums, and then subsequently Warner funded an entire second album. Which was the Green Album. So that's basically, in a nutshell, how the band came together. There's a lot of stories and crazy things in the, in in there, um, and um, I guess、uh, you know I'll do more of these, just explaining what the what the band was all about.、Um, Benny just left to to go on a trip to Japan, and I was hoping to get him on this, but as soon as he gets back, maybe we'll do something together, and.、Um, And of course, there's the other members of the band. We,、uh, I still, I mean, you know, somewhat some contact with Julian here and there. We we touch base with each other every so often. And of course, I see my brother all the time、um, uh, doing the work that I do with the film music. And、um, and I see Benny a lot more these days since we reconnected. So maybe we'll do do a couple of things where it's not just me talking.、Um, so before I end up this video,、um, I'm going to think about another question. Right, so there was、um, someone that asked what my favorite Big Picture song was. It's a hard one. I I really enjoyed playing in Big Picture because we 
we really pushed the envelope of arrangement. Um, I had written all the songs, and uh, my brother and I would work really hard to try and you know push push the limits of arrangement. And um, working with um, especially Joel Allen, who was an extremely talented uh, percussionist, um, we we would come up with a lot of the bed tracks, you know, the, the complicated stuff, time signatures, you know, um, a lot of interesting and fun, challenging music to play. Um, but a lot of that stuff was more fun to play rather than to think about as a song. My favorite song or songs in Big Picture were probably Spaceman. I was proud of that song because it, it, it evoked uh, a sense of loneliness in the melody. Um, and I think l the last time um, on the Green Album was another song that, that kind of really came out quickly. And it's a, it's a bittersweet song because um, I wrote it almost prophetically, um, not knowing that we were going to break up. Um, and I sang the lead on that song and it was just around that time, just a few months after that, that um, the band kind of fizzled out, and and me, my brother, uh, and Chris took and Julian took off and formed Mir, um, and then they quit, and then Adam, um, Adam Dowling, who we had, my brother and I had met, formed the trio Mir, which is that's the band, the main band that I played in, and and did the most touring with. And there's many, many other stories I could go on about that. But yeah, the last time was a very simple song. It's just two rounds of the same thought. And it it kind of was um, inspired by the sound that was happening in England at the time. Um, I guess I was, you know, kind of trying to write a song uh, in the style of that acoustic oasis kind of vibe, that Northern England vibe. I. I enjoyed playing that song because it had a dark mood to it and I didn't really know at the time of writing it that I was almost writing about the end of Big Picture. Um, and um, now, because of all you guys reviving Big Picture, um, the, the line, it's the last time we'll ever sing again, has uh, not fallen true, although it was for about 30 years because since Benny and I reconnected, um, we've started to... We did a couple of performances together, so it's been great to reconnect with him. And um, and so that would be that song and Spaceman. I also really did like uh, Memory Dance from um, uh, the first Big Picture album on Just Passing By. It uh, it was a really cool uh, energy. There's a really great energy in that song, and a lot of it came from Joel and Shahab, and uh, a very you know forward-leaning um, rhythm section and it was in 6-8 and it just kind of you know barreled along and had a lot of sort of afterburner energy behind it and I, I liked playing that song and it had a lot of cool modulations which are key changes in it and so yeah memory dance um, uh, Sweetwater was also another cool track um, I like the mood of Sweetwater part 2 um, and uh, yeah, the, I could go on, but those are probably the, the ones I would I would say are my favorite. So um, before I ramble on for too long, I'll leave it at that and I'll do another episode like this. Again, I've been getting ready for a show and uh, doing my um, prep for the album, so I'll be probably posting a little less, um, more intense content, uh, less, uh, you know, graphics and everything like that and so maybe I'll just come on and speak like this if that's okay with you so let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do more content like this um, because this uh, type of stuff is much more easy for me to make than the rest so um, please don't, don't forget to share this and spread the word really appreciate everybody taking the time to listen and to uh, comment and give me feedback I love comments again please um, uh, don't be shy about asking me questions. It just gives me a, a reason to get back on camera and answer them for you. So thanks again, and uh, we'll see you next time.